So, but I, I think we're having problems uh, with the lines uh, getting across to uh, Paul Bassi. Maybe the fact that uh, Paul Bassi is right there inside that stadium, uh, still doing a few things, putting a few finishing touches, is making it very difficult to, for us to get him very clearly. But the, the, we'll try to work the lines again and get him back online. But before we do that, gentlemen, he said a few things uh, very, very quickly. No hotel rooms in, in Aquabom. It's, it's, the city is locked down. <laughs> Everywhere in Aquabom <coughs> is looking in the direction of the Aquabom International Stadium. Yeah. The place is locked down. It's a big event tomorrow. You want to be a part of this? Uh, anybody, if I had the chance, I'll be there. Um, I don't know. I Three heads of government <laughs> yes. are coming, including the president of Nigeria. Mm. Security is going to be top notch. Mm. Um, transportation, they would, they would ensure that everything is and each, the promise of good each football. free. Mm. Yeah, promise of uh, that's something to look to look forward and and the festival uh, atmosphere and everything uh, that will go into it. And I'm not surprised with, with what Paul Bass is saying about. Uh, the things happening in and around um, Uyo as we speak. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Uh, 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 do we have Paul Bassi? I, I, I'm getting a signal that we have Paul Bassi back on the line to us um, on, on Sports Now. So let's cross over very quickly and see if we can get him clearer now. Okay, okay. I'm told that it, it's this, the lines are still being worked on and we will try to establish contact with, uh, with, with Paul Bassi. But Tunde, what are you expecting tomorrow? Um, Everybody is locked down. Uh, we're expecting good football. We're expecting that to be the new home. They call it the nest of champions. Mm -hmm. that, that's a fantastic edifice and investment into football in, in Nigeria, in Africa. Yeah, I'm just uh, particularly pleased that the uh, Kwebom State government has made this kind of investment in football. It's uh, really heartwarming. Okay, Paul Bassi is back on now. Paul Bassi is back on. Let's see if we can get him uh, clearly now. Uh, Paul Bassi, you were saying something about the city being locked down. No rooms in the hotels. You arrive there in the stadium. What can you tell us about the technical aspect of this thing, um, the stadium? What, how can you describe the Paul Bassi? <laughs> the technical aspect of it, the stadium. Uh, we know Calf came and inspected it a few weeks ago, gave it pass mark. Uh, and then what, I mean, can you talk, talk to us about it, looking forward to tomorrow's international friendly? No, I, I, I had, my happiness is that uh, you were here a certain time. The car, the car, the car, the car, it was, uh, it was not, the service was awesome. It was not a good day. It's the stadium that is just a It's the stadium that is just a structure. It has been made for the handicap, the toilet facilities, the evacuation, the stuff like that, the swimming kit. The 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 Everything, everything, everything. It's, it's, it's a modern system thing. It's, it's one to behold. Mm. Well, a few people here, uh, Paul Bassi, have raised concerns. And I think you talked on it very briefly now. Um, what is going to be the future of this stadium uh, in, in the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years? You've talked about facilities for disabled persons. Uh, they are able to move in quickly and come out quickly. What is the future of this stadium? What plans are there to ensure that this stadium is looking this way in 50 years or even looking better? <laughs> I told you about the maintenance content with your story, that is one part of it. There's going to be a management consortium. We just have to know how, like you said, it's it, it not going to be a white elephant. This is a must be you. It's a cup that will be won tomorrow. They call it the transformation cup. Mm. Any other thing that we will not take it, we will return it. Every year, there will be a top class match transformation cup.
Mm-hmm. This has to be used to um, that, is, that, that, that is, we don't, we don't have it. We are condemning, condemning to make sure that this stadium is fully utilized. Well, we must say thank you to you, Paul Bassi, for speaking to us on uh, Sports Tonight and uh, giving us an insight into what is going down tomorrow at the Aqua Ibom International Stadium. Gentlemen, uh, that's the way to go. This facility must be put to good use. Yeah. It's an investment. It's a legacy. Yeah. It mustn't be allowed to run after a few years. Yeah. We should be looking at 50, 60, 70 years. It should become a pride, yeah. uh, and it should get better and better, I mean, uh, as we go on. So we uh, have to leave it at that, and uh, we'll talk more. Uh, maybe tomorrow we'll try to get some of the pictures uh, of what will be going down during the formal opening of that stadium. Probably you watching will be able to appreciate it better when a football game uh, is being shown from that magnificent Aquai Bomb International uh, Stadium. Um, let us go on a quick break now, just for a few seconds. But before we do that, gentlemen, let me get your closing thoughts um, on all we've spoken about so far, uh, particularly the um, Aquai Bomb Stadium. Let me start with you. Well, um, uh, there's really nothing left to be said. Mm. Um, my worry, uh, some of the Paul has, has put paid to some of the worries um, I, I have. Um, maintaining that stadium means using it. That's one of the best ways to keep it in shape. And the fact that the, we, we are already hearing about the idea of bringing some, some of the best national teams, national teams uh, club sides, club mm. sides is, is heartwarming. And, and that's just the way to go. Yeah. Well, it's very easy for you to drop names like Brazil and uh, Manchester United. Well, Brazil have been here before. Well, that, yes, mm. well, that was before. Argentina before. before. Yeah, but I'm just hoping... Uh, look, Nigeria is different now, Yemi. All, 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 all I'm saying... The Guerrilla board have done things differently. We play top-class friendlies. I agree. Today. All, I'm say, Italy. all I'm saying is it's very easy to drop names. Mm. But we really, the people of the good people of Aquabom would we'll like to see this stadium put to good use. Mm. And also the ones that are, that are the predecessors, the Uyo Township, I hope they will not be abandoned to yeah. let, to let to, to yeah. us like the National Stadium in, uh, in, in Lagos. But um, it's, it's women that they are making this kind of investments in sports. And hopefully we might probably see the Aquabom State Government even host uh, the, uh, the old Nigeria Games, the uh, National Sports Festival sometime mm. in future. Mm. They don't have the facility to do so. so mm. and, I, and I hope that their club sites in Aquabom will also Absolutely. be able to use the best. Yes. They will keep playing very at, uh, the prison like The uh, prison like uh, uh, the they, they can use this facility. It's very true. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is the best possible use they can put it to. Mm. Mm. That is the we best. Can we can put the National League matches there. I mean, this is TV. And National family. League TV or National League matches there. Yeah. All right? So let, let's, let's uh, uh, commend uh, Governor Gosola Papio and hope that... Uh, that stadium will outlive him. I, I, I know that somewhere along the line, the name of that stadium will change. What it will change to, I don't know. <laughs> I'll leave that for the future. All right. Um, I'm tempted to read a few comments on Twitter, but we're running out of time. So I'm going to go on a very quick break now. When we return from this break, Dumnavi uh, Okonta will be joining us. Today we'll still be here. You may will go work behind the scene. There's plenty to talk about, about the Globe Premier League, the Nigerian National League, and a whole lot more for you on sports tonight.